Hey Nelson, good evening. I'm doing great. What about you? I feel better than, than yesterday, but what happened to you yesterday? I, I felt very sick. I I I, I have flu cough. You had the flu? Mm-hmm. Oh. But now I feel better. That's good. That's a lot better. Okay. So what have you been up to? I was uh, making the unit two on the platform. Okay. So you know, what do you what do you remember? <laughs> <laughs> I was uh, reviewing the neither nor so nor, and I uh, watching. I was watching the 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 video, the YouTube video that you uploaded yesterday. Mm -hmm. There was a homework. <laughs> I didn't watch that part. <laughs> okay. Don't worry. We'll get there okay. very soon. Very soon. Very excited. I'm tired as hell. I'm so tired right now. I'm burned. But I'm, I'm happy. But you're on vacation, right? I'm or on vacation. You, you're on, on your car. Yeah, because I... I, I I started. I, I I gave the. When do you start? Um, working on the car the whole week. I mean, mm -hmm. ever since Monday, it's been crazy. But I got. And you are doing it by yourself or with a friend? Or... I'm just doing it by myself, and that's and the you, thing. You have the, the tools to to lift the motor, the engine. I have bought some tools. I have borrowed some tools, and now I'm very that close. Is, that 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 engines are are small. They're, yeah, they're not too heavy. Um, yeah, yeah. The one that it had, the one point one, was not too heavy, but the one point eight with the five speed transmission is. Mm -hmm. It's really heavy, but still, I was able to to lend um, a crane. You know, a crane mm -hmm. to lift the old <laughs> engine, take it out of the bay, and and I still have the the new engine on the floor, on the garage because tomorrow I'm gonna I'm gonna wash it. Today I was able to paint the engine bay. Well, not paint it, but I I I gave it the first primer layer, the first layer, the the primer. I gave mm -hmm. it two two coats of primer. But the difficult part was uh, sanding everything, sanding everything mm -hmm. with, with the, um... oh, my God. I forgot how to say taladro, no, the drill, with the drill. Mm -hmm. Man, but that was so difficult. And I, I bought a mask. I bought a mask and some glasses, you know. Hi, good evening. And you have, and you have the compressor and everything to no, paint no, no. the no i'm I'm painting paint it i'm your... painting it with 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 a brush with a brush, brush. for because yeah for now i mean the the primary yes is yeah. a is rustoleum you know but yeah. but the paint the um antioxidant the anti-rust anti-rust paint yes. is, is red and thank god i was able to find mm. a red that matches my car because my car is whole all red so, so I'm gonna do it mm. with the brush after the primer. Yeah, it's a lot of work. And it's uh, the new engine is the 1.8 turbo, or it's no, the... it's not turbo. It's just 1.8, 1.8. It was from a Vento, a Vento. Man, but now the oh, car is gonna, right. that car is gonna fly, for sure. <laughs> I I thought that it was from the GTI, the 24, 23 GTI. Golf. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's, it's a golf. It was an. A no, but the engine, the new engine. 
yeah, the, the, the car was an A is an A1, but now that I'm gonna put the, the right engine, now it's gonna be a GTI because what makes the difference is the the engine. So yeah. It was from a Vento uh, to 1994. So it was a it's a newer mm -hmm. engine. Yeah. So and now it's all gonna be electric, the electric starter and everything. So yeah. no, it's not gonna be full injection. I don't want it. I don't want it full injection because I have a an Italian carburetor, a Weber mm, thirty two, a Weber thirty two thirty six, and it's Italian. You know, I, I don't want to sell it. Even if I sell the it car, it's more I'm, complicated with when they are electronic. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Actually, they do. They it's do. It's easier with a carburetor. Exactly. Yeah, and you don't need all of these digital things, the computer. Mm -hmm. Uh, no, no, no. I don't want to complicate my life. So, but let's stop talking about cars. <laughs> okay. I'll show it to you once I'm once I'm done. I think before the course ends, before this module ends, I'm gonna be done with that because I have to finish it. I have to finish it before I come back to work because as soon as I finish my vacations, I'm gonna be doing overtime, overtime, overtime all days. So right now we are 10, I mean, nine, because we have some someone from administration. Okay, I think it's good for us to start. Let's see, we are nine already. Let's start with this. Carlos Alfredo Palomo Pineda. Please turn on your cameras, guys. Um, thank you, Diego. Marilena, Carlos. And Christia, please turn on your cameras. You need uh, teacher. Teacher, uh, I'm present, but I will be as a listener because I'm driving. Okay, cool. Cool. Be careful, please. Watch out. Thank you. Mm -hmm. So you, you said present. Thank you, Carlos. Yeah. Claudia Maria Melende Santos, Christian Natalie Erazo Rogel. Christy as well. Uh, I have some problems in my job. Okay, I understand. Thank you. Uh, Diana Elizabeth Chereguino Martinez, not here. Diego Armando Lopez Rivas. I'm here, teacher. Awesome. Jorge Humberto Vela Funes. Juan Carlos Rivas Jovel. Manuel Antonio Palma. Gracias, teacher. María Elena Guadalupe Peñate Escobar. I present. Please turn on your camera if possible. Mario Ernesto yes, Villera. Okay, Mario Ernesto Villeda, Mario José Valle Castaneda, Nelson René Olmedo Figueroa, Present. Norma Carolina Villeda Ábalos, I know you're driving, <laughs> thank you, be careful please Norma, <laughs> Silvia Suleima Rodríguez de González, not yet, Susana Beatriz Ortiz de Cornejo, Present teacher. Susana, he notado que no le sirve la cámara o hay varios días que no la puedo encender solo. Recordar. No, si quieres que, que estoy a la par, estoy trabajando también. Ok, ok. Uh -huh. I understand. Por eso. Uh -huh. Wendy Maribel Zabaleta Ochoa. Present teacher. Ok, thank you. Okay, guys, so let's start tonight. Our topic is to discuss the basic elements to consider when selecting a training option. What elements do you consider when you select a training option? But we are still missing a few details. Not anymore with the grammar, but with, I was reviewing uh, what we have started before we started the class. So, well, I was expecting more audience. So how do we do this? Well, yesterday there was a homework, which was on your, on your book, on your workbook. On page 15, you were supposed to <clears throat> find the meanings basically of some uh, vocabulary that appears on page 15, where is the share option? Hold on, there we go. 
Okay, so on your book, page 15, you have this. Business needs and goals. Gap skills analysis. Survey. And performance appraisal. Just by looking at the terms, I think most of you could come up with an idea, right? A rough idea. But my plan was for you to go on groups and divide the job. Simple as that. Since our main goal in this group is to speak and to apply the jam technique, the just a minute technique, I want you to prepare a little exposition. Just go through the details. For example, business needs and goals. Um, you could tell or talk about the FODA, you know, the SWOT analysis on a company, okay? Because among the SWOT analysis, the main idea is to come up with this part. What are the business needs? What are the goals? So what do we need to achieve our goals in the business? And any business could do that, you know, do the SWOT analysis and start solving each area of improvement. Gap skills analysis. So among the results of this, the business needs and goals, you may find out that your employees need more training. So what are the skills that our employees are missing? That's very important. Um, a survey, easy. What kinds of survey are there? That's an that's an investigation. That's a research that you could do. And performance appraisal. How can you um, appraise, let's say, or compensate your employees for their good performance? Okay. So that's the idea right now. We are just nine and two, let me see, one, two, three, let's say four. Four classmates are not ready to participate because they're driving or they are working. So what do we do? What are you gonna do? What do you want to do? Give me ideas. Okay, give me ideas. Uh, teacher, uh, hey. the ideas is it related to the four different uh, in your screen, for different aspects or, or, how, to group, or how, how to work in group. <laughs> No, no, no. I was just kidding, guys. Let's do something. Let, let's go in couples because most likely it will be just like six of you. And I'll send you the link again for the icebreakers. All that I want to hear is you talking, 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 talking with the classmates. So let's start with the question generator while we do some time uh, for your classmates. I like Fridays to be very dynamic. Just mind this. I like Fridays to be very dynamic, to play, you know, to uh, have conversations, to push you. That's very important for me, to push you to speak and give you feedback. That's my whole intention right now. So I'll send you the, um, the link again. Remember, you can click on the, on the orange button to go to the next question. And this is just a warmer. We're gonna use it as a warmer right now. Hold on. I'm gonna do it here. Let's warm up. Okay, let's warm up. Just for a few minutes, I'm gonna split you in three groups, hoping that you can be with someone who can speak for now, okay? Let's practice together. Give me just a minute. Nelson, no, my striving. Wendy's there. Okay. 
Manuel is here. Marilena too. Okay. Susana Beatriz. Okay. Okay. Carlos Alfredo and Diego. Okay. Perfect. Let's go. Make as many questions as possible. As possible, use a stopwatch and talk non stop for at least 30 seconds. Okay, we will start with the random okay. talks. Uh, let me see. Do you want to start asking or, or can I do it? So, the share. <laughs> Make as many, many questions as possible. Use mm -hmm. stopwatch and talk non-stop for, for it for us. Please. Yes. For example, I have my first question. Teacher, help me, please. Uh, the I I already uh, have the the question, but who uh, who is uh, answering me? You decide. Uh, you decide. Just go ahead and ask. For example, uh, okay. Say, I, I Susana, Marilena. I like Diego. the teacher. Mm -hmm. Very good. I like the, the this exercise. Okay. Uh, the question is, what's the longest you've been going without showering? Shower. I, I repeat. I, 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 se salió. Oh, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Uh, have, uh, has anybody, uh, or someone, uh, some question? <laughs> Other question. Uh, okay, for, I uh, mía. Sorry. Yes. Uh, for Susana, where is your favorite place to shop? Sorry? Where is Repeat your that. favorite place to shop? To shop. Place shop. To shop. Shop. Uh, shop de comprar. Yes. Okay. Where is your shop. favorite place to shop? Shop. Okay. Thank you. All right, Susana. Uh, what is your place? Your favorite uh, what, place. What is your place? Uh, my favorite place is a uh, Metro Centro. Metro Centro for near. For near place. Mm. I don't know. Um, another, another reason is the only reason that you like it, Metro Centro for boys. Uh, I'm sorry about this exercise. The teacher uh, needs we uh, talk uh, unless uh, one minute. The technique jam. La técnica es que hablemos por lo menos un minuto. Ah, ok. Sí. Ah, ok, ok. No. Eh, my favorite uh, place for shop is the uh, Metro Centro. For is uh, the place uh, near. Eh, is mm -hmm. I near for my, my address. Eh, is a... Uh, it has 
it has a place a uh, parking lot. All right. Uh, Time. Time. Yeah. <laughs> Thank you, Susie. I okay. have the time. I have the time. All yes. right. Hey, Susie, yes. give me give your your uh, question. Questions. Susie. Pero voy a buscar las palabritas. Por ahí la tienen. Cuando usted le presiona push eh, an orange. Ah, y me sale. Yes, How, in, in yellow. Ok. How often do you nap? No sé qué es eso. How often do you? Ay, se me borró. Bye. What is, what is your dream job? All oh, right. Eh, for, the question is for, for, for who? ¿Para quién es la pregunta? ¿Para mí o para...? Ah, bueno, María Elena, ya, ya. Eh, ok. Eh. Is... Ay. Okay. Um, what is the longest you have gone without sleep? Ok. Um, I, I think that the longest that I have been without sleep it's like 24 hours. Uh, maybe when I was in the university, um, I was in in uh, in a midterms, so I had to study all night, and then in the morning I had to uh, wake up early. Well, I didn't sleep that night, and I had to go in the morning. I had to work. And then uh, in the evening, I had to go to the university to do the, to take the midterms. So uh, I I think that I was I went to sleep for twenty four hours. Okay. What and about we you, Wendy? I think Wendy is not here. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. What is the longest you have gone without sleep? Repeat, please. <laughs> what is the longest you have gone without sleep? I don't understand. <laughs> How much time? Um, what is other way to Have say? Have you it? been without sleeping? Uh -huh. Without sleep? I sleeping. I sleeping. Uh, more, more hours. Yes. No. No, the less hours. No entiendo. ¿Cuánto es lo menos que ha estado sin dormir? Ah, lo menos que ha estado sin dormir. Lo más. Sin dormir. O lo más que ha estado sin dormir. Bueno, lo, más, ¿no? lo menos o lo más. No lo más. Yo digo. El mayor tiempo que ha estado sin dormir. Ah, uh, in the university. Yes. All day, all night, all night. How many hours? Oh my! O sea que no dormí nada. Okay. <laughs> In the university, a day or two days, I don't remember. <laughs> Okay, I will ask you something. Do you prefer to eat at home or eat out? Eat at home. Hmm? Eat at home. I don't like the food from other places. 
and I I'm trying <laughs> not to eat a lot of junk food. Junk food. <laughs> yes. So and I think it's cheaper to eat yeah. food from your, your house. <laughs> yes, your own food. Yes, I agree with I'm agreed with you. I prefer to eat at home because uh, here at home here at home I can eat whatever I want or the way that I I can eat uh, without the the pressures or maybe somebody's looking at how I eat or something like that I don't know and also <laughs> it, uh, you <laughs> you 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 save some money yes so I prefer to eat my beans and eggs in my home to go out and take a fancy dinner yes you can enjoy the the bones from the chicken at your house <laughs> <laughs> and you Wendy what do you think about that Wendy <clears throat> Sorry. <laughs> Wendy, do you prefer to eat at home or eat out? Eat. Mm -hmm. The food. Yes. Mm. Out. <laughs> Why? Why? <laughs> uh, old time. I eat in in home at home, and I prefer uh, eat different food. Out, okay. At food. Out, out. Out. Okay. Okay. Another question. Let me see. Oh, difficult. <laughs> Describe your perfect first date. Ooh. Yes, very good. <laughs> All right, tell us your question, please. For okay. Me. Um, Mar eh, Mario Manu Manuel Eva. Yes. Manuel. Manuel. Eh, what is the best thing? that happened to you this week okay uh, what is my my think uh, my best thing for this week uh-huh this is oh, what uh, is the... sorry sorry think what? or think think oh, what okay. is our best think think okay I think, think, uh -huh. think, think that happened to you this for week, this for week, this week. Uh -huh. All this right. Week. Uh, let me let me see. Uh, this uh, week I have a lot of rest because uh, my boss uh, uh, give me uh, one week uh, for vacation, right? <laughs> Uh, ah, okay. uh, but I, I I was a little sick, a little sick. But uh, the I think the, the the best thing I I have done is uh, right. I I belong to a, a Christian church, and I I am a server teacher. Is this is correct? Uh, word server. Is this correct? Yes, it is. Okay. Okay. And I, I I like to I like to go to the church with my family. Uh, but but uh, also I like to be in class for sure. You know. <laughs> the, these are my best things I I have done in this week. But 
today I wash my motorcycle, my motor, my motorbike. <laughs> but I am I am honest. I don't like to to wash it, <laughs> but it is it is necessary. <laughs> All right. Uh, I I have another question for uh, Elenita. Uh, the question is, if you could give one piece of advice to the whole world, what would do? What would it be? I repeat, if it's a, a, a short, it's a, a long. Uh, if you could give one piece of advice to the whole world, what would it be? What would it be? I don't understand the question. Se la voy a decir en español, pues. Si usted pudiera dar una pieza de o una parte, así es, teacher, de consejo para el para todo el mundo o el mundo entero, ¿cuál sería? El consejo, vaya, advice. ¿Qué consejo le daría al mundo entero? No English. <laughs> peace and love, peace and love. <laughs> Um, I don't know, maybe um, the people need to calm down a little because many person is hungry in, in driving, in the jobs, with family. I see the people, um, uh, how do you say? Um, um, take a hit, uh, your children's children, and the children is quiet, and it is sad because the children needed um, the support of parents. Okay. No, your parents hit them, um, and for this, uh, maybe I say calm down okay. a little. Take a water. Okay. Very good, good advice and good things. Good think. Uh, uh, okay, please uh, tell I tell the next question to Susan. The question is: Are you morning or night person? Are you a morning or a night person? Have or have morning. are morning. Are you a morning or a night person? Ah, all right, all right, all right. Si una persona de día o de noche. Yes. Uh, Susi. <laughs> uh, uh, I understand very well the the question, uh, but it's a. Uh, I think. I think um, maybe I I I equals person in the morning and the night. <laughs> but Do you don't uh, prefer? Huh? Do you prefer in the morning or you prefer night? Um, it's a, it's in a the morning, but it's a, are you sleeping? <laughs> I, uh, about this about this question uh, Susie said uh, morning morning person and I I I, I meet uh, I meet people that uh, like uh, actor or pass the time or, uh, or waste waste the time in in night uh, i i i had part of my time uh, 15 years ago i am part, i am uh, i par particip participate about this uh, nighttime, but for me, it's a 
is a is a waste waste the time because I visited uh, different places. <laughs> I don't know, and I I I, I don't. I don't like uh, to remember this this part of my life, but right now, in this time of my life, uh, right now, I all all I I do, I I really do in 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 day. At, at the day, but I don't like Okay, I need a volunteer. If there's no volunteer, it's gonna be a victim. So you tell me. Okay. Let's set the pace. Let's say, let's set the pace. Who's going to set the pace? Okay, let's set the pace. Who's going to be the first one coming to the front? I will just do a, any random question, actually. Who wants to set the pace? Everybody else will do exactly the same. So, okay, Nelson, what's your favorite color? My favorite color is blue because it remembers me in the ocean. It remembers me. Reminds me the ocean. Reminds me the ocean. Reminds me the ocean. And uh, I really like uh, the beach. And uh, every, every time that I have a... a, a they saw or something like that i i like to go to the beach excellent uh, okay <laughs> sorry i just wanted to select somebody nelson thank you so manuel has blue eyes let's go with manuel first okay manuel's eyes are blue ready manuel tell me about your dream house tell me about your dream house manuel one two three go Okay, teacher. Uh, I I would like to to live in a a, in a big house uh, near to the near to the beach, teacher. Yes, I I love the I love the beach and I love swim and I, I would like. It's my dream house uh, to be in a in a how do you say a rancho <laughs> rancho de playa. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know. Keep going. I keep going. Like to, I would like to 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 be owner uh, for the big big house uh, in near to the to the beach. <laughs> okay thank you great job at least 10 sentences that was really good uh thank you uh manuel 
So everybody else, can you help me near to the beach? I love swim. I don't know what what did you get? Cerca. Yep. Or, or close. Yep, yep. Come on, guys. Okay, I'll go straight to the feedback then. Um, near to the beach. We tend to make this mistake a lot. You don't need the preposition to after near. Okay? Near the beach. Close to the beach, maybe, yeah. But near, near the beach. Now, okay. the article the, the article the goes before common common nouns. Let me see, let D before, oh, common nouns. There's a beautiful image. Let me see if I find it really quick. So common nouns, the doctor, the office, the beach, the girl. But that, that has to be in context, I'm sorry. The supermarket, the TV, the president. Near the beach. The beach. You're fine. Yeah, near the beach. Near the beach. So okay. you did it, you did it right. I'll send you that image later because I cannot see it really quick here. Okay. I love swim. What are we missing? I love to swim. You got it. I love to swim. Now, if this is a hobby, if this is a hobby, it is leisure, right? It is a leisure activity. So you can say, I love swimming. Yes, I, <laughs> eso es lo que quería decir, I love swimming, but I, I, I love camping, I love swimming, I love shopping, yes. I love biking, etc. This is my hobby. This is my hobby. That's your hobby. I love jogging, yes. etc. Exactly. So now, guys, do I need to duplicate the letter M on the word swim? Diana, what do you think? Do I have to duplicate the M? I don't know, teacher. I, I think so. Yes, yes, you have to. Because, really? yes. because really. you have consonant, vowel, consonant. Just remember, if you have a one-syllable verb or more than one syllable, and it ends on consonant, vowel, consonant, then you duplicate the consonant and you add ing. De hecho, dice la regla que si el estrés recae en la última sílaba de esa palabra, si es más de dos sílabas y recae el estrés en esa sílaba en la última, duplicas la última consonante si se cumple el consonante vocal consonante. Okay. Review the video if you want to re hear that again. Is my dream house to be... Uh, hmm. You wanted to say, is my dream to be... Right? Is my dream to be in a big house? How do you say rancho? Hot. Yeah, you got it. Pizza. <laughs> Hot. It's yeah. not, yeah, yeah, you may be thinking hot, right? Pizza hot. No, yeah. pizza hot. Okay, so el rancho de las pizzas. Mm, okay, pizza hot. Okay, I like to be owner. What are we missing here for the big house near the beach? The? Where? The owner. The owner. The owner, right. I I will like to be the owner. What else do we have to correct? Of a big house. Of a big house. Of a big house. Near to the beach. Near the beach. Near the beach. <laughs> I like to be the owner of a big house near the beach. That sounds amazing, right? Watch out. Okay, great job, Manuel. Thank you. Who is next, Manuel? Who is next? Uh, 
Next. All right. Who is the victim? <laughs> yeah, no, help help one of your classmates. I mean. Yeah, yeah, you're right. Uh, let me see. Uh, I don't I don't I don't know who is uh, active <laughs> or available, but I I choose uh, Claudia, Claudita. Claudia, Claudia, let me see. It's Cla yeah, Claudia, hello, good evening. Hello. Okay, Claudia, your question is very simple. What Tell do me. you... <laughs> okay, shoot me, okay. I'm gonna shoot you right now, hold on. What do you do in your spare time? What do you do? What do you do in your spare time? Ready? Okay, three. No, when do you, when do you say spare is your free time? Yes, that's right. In your free okay. time, your spare time. One, two, three, action. Okay, look what I do in my free time. I like to read uh, and I like to spend time with my kids and cook them. And um, also, I like to go to the cinema and see the movies. And also, I like to spend time with my friends of the work and talk <laughs> all of the gossip <laughs> and all of that things. <laughs> Keep going. 30 seconds. Oh, my God. Um. Um, I don't know. Just <laughs> try it. Keep going. Ah, blah, blah. <laughs> Last time I went to the cinema. Last time I went to cinema, I I see the Avengers. <laughs> I watched the Avengers. Okay, good. Okay, uh, good enough. So uh, you... for Claudia. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, I like to cook for my children. I like to cook them. Oh my God, no, don't do that, Claudia. <laughs> don't don't cook your children. <laughs> I'm just I'm just kidding. That is not idea. <laughs> how how would you say it? <laughs> yes. How, how how do you say this? Yo yo les cocino. <laughs> See the importance of the uh prepositions Nelson everybody Wendy cook for them I cook I like cooking for them I cook for them I love to cook for them I love to cook for them hmm yeah sounds fair pronunciation how do you read this word everybody Cinema. Cinema? Cinema? Cinema. Or cinema? <laughs> cinema. Cinema. No, so cinema. This, where's the stress? Which syllable is stressed? The first one. The first one, right? Cinema. Yeah, I like to go to the cinema. Cinema? No, cinema. I love the cinema. Okay. Talk all of the gossiping. <laughs> I didn't like these words. Uh, so I like to talk with my friends about all the gossiping, all of the gossiping in the office. Yeah, a little bit more explicit, right? Because the gossiping, there's gossiping in your neighborhood, in your office. <laughs> Good job, Claudia. Just one more. Okay, Claudia, who is next? Mm. I don't know who is missing. Anybody? We have only heard you and and also Manuel. So you can choose anybody, whoever you want to speak. Mm. Wendy. Wendy. Okay, Wendy. No, no.
Okay, Wendy, this is an easy question. Very simple. What things are you passionate about? What things are you passionate about? Three, okay. Three, uh, two, I, I one, passionate, go. Oh, sorry. I'm passionate about uh, learn, learn Bible of, of the kids of, of my church in neighborhood Emmanuel. And a passion in uh, I I have passion in my work. <laughs> Travel ticket and uh, make make uh, form for uh, make forms. Um, American visa? No, forms. Forms for American visa. Um, play. Okay. Good. <laughs> okay. So let's see. Uh, I passionate everybody. Please help me. Diana, Nelson, Marilena, Claudia, Carlos, Mario. Oh my God. Everybody, help me. I'm passionate about learning Bible of the kids of my church or neighborhood. Okay, first correction on this sentence. I am passionate. I am. I'm passionate. Yeah, I'm you're passionate. missing the verb to be right. I'm passionate about learning from the Bible, learning or from about the Bible. From about, uh huh, the Bible. Now here, of the kids of my church, to teach. To the... Yeah, it's not learning, right? It's teaching. Mm -hmm. Do you teach the Bible to the kids, Wendy? Yes. Oh, okay. Okay, so you're teaching, teaching, not teaching. learning. Sorry. Uh -huh. It's okay. Don't worry. Don't say sorry. We are all learning here, even me. So I'm passionate <laughs> about teaching from or about the Bible. And then? To the kids to of my church. The kids of my church or neighborhood. Um, Is your neighborhood Emmanuel? Comunidad Emmanuel? No. Uh, neighborhood and uh, my neighborhood no no is my neighborhood is evil evil neighborhood okay but i i go i go saturday mm -hmm. at neighborhood emmanuel oh okay or neighborhood okay of my church or um. from from neighborhood in Manuel. Okay, I think that's the way you write it, right? I am passionate, my job. Keep going, guys. With my job? Uh, just with, I mean, do, do we need something else? Passionate mm -hmm. with my job. About my job. Oh, About my job. I'm passionate with my job. I'm passionate about my job. With my job. About my job. I'm passionate. I do if I say I'm passionate with my job, I do things with passion, right? I do my best. I'm passionate about my job. Man, I love my job. My job is the best thing that could ever happen. So there could be a little difference. I I I like to make forms for American visa and da, da, da. this was good, right? Yeah. Great job. Oh my God. Okay, guys. Oh, you should be doing this. Just a minute. Just a minute technique. 
and you will improve your English really quick. Did anybody review the link that I sent on, well, yesterday, while I was with Marilena, right? So if you watched yesterday's one-on-one -on -one session with Marilena, I explained her the process to use that link. Just take a conversation during the first day, listen and read with your eyes and not with your mouth. Okay, two days reading with your eyes because your brain needs to understand that the words that you knew since you were a kid are pronounced in a different way now. Instead of me, M -E -Y, you say my, for example, I don't know. Instead of E, you say I. No. <laughs> so the brain needs to understand. Next two days, okay, the next two days, you start reading, articulating. And once you feel confident, you start recording. You record yourself. That's critical. That's important for you to criticize yourself. Listen to yourself and go like, mm, no, I said, I said that wrong. I said that wrong. Okay. And you start correcting yourself. Okay. Un día no va a estar con ustedes. Yo me voy para el cielo. Y se van a quedar y sin, pues sí, por lo menos van a saber qué hacer, ¿verdad? Sin mí. Español ya no les enseño porque ya ni yo lo sé hablar. So, let's continue. Okay. So, tonight, we are how many now? 14. Oh, my God. Great job, guys. Welcome, Mario. Welcome, Silvia. Uh, Cristia, I don't know if you're still working. Mario Villeda. Welcome, Claudia. Turn on your camera. Diego, turn on your camera. Norma Carolina. Can Carlos Alfredo, if possible, turn on your camera. So tonight, we're going to talk about the basic elements to consider when selecting a training option. Yesterday, last thing we talked about was about the negative uh, impact of not having training options, right? or when a training goes bad. When something goes bad on the training. You know, I remember back in 2009, woo, 2009, I was on the training at Stream, which is now Concentrix. Um, and there was this amazing guy. The training was amazing. I mean, he, I can't remember his name. But I learned from him. He was my second call center. That was my second job in call centers. And the training was five weeks. Trainings were very long back in the days. What's the meaning of back in the days? In the past, in the time. ¿Cómo fue, Nelson? En ese tiempo. Ajá, en ese tiempo. Más salvadoreño, más latino. Back in the days. Ajá, sí. En aquel entonces. Ajá, back, back in the days. So, trainings were five weeks. And no payment. If you didn't make it through the training, so sorry. Bye -bye. You wasted five weeks of your life. You wasted five weeks of your life. Man, can you imagine that? And I remember my first call center in 2005. I, I didn't have money. I had just moved to live alone in my own house, my first house. And that was my first job. I didn't eat this is true. I didn't eat for two days. Two days I did fasting without wanting. <laughs> Man, but it's worth it. It's the best sacrifice I had ever done in my life. Two days without eating. The last two days of the training. And then they paid. They paid because I made it. I cried. I really cried when I got the job at the airline. Because it was difficult. It was really hard to get into the airline. But I loved that job. It was the best call center experience. The thing is that 
second job, working at Dell, the training was, guess what? Learning about computers, hardware, computers, hardware, how to disassemble and reassemble a computer. So the whole training was for you to disassemble the computer and then assemble it by yourself. So the guy was so smart, the trainer, he gave us the training, he explained everything right, and then he gave us some tools. One computer, I don't know if you know about computers, but an Xbox, I'm sorry, an X, XPS, an XPS, which is kind of a, a professional or for a gaming computer back in the days, was a huge case. So he said, here are the screwdrivers. This is, this is all you need to disassemble that computer. Go ahead, do it. Man, everybody was like, okay, easy. <laughs> okay, I'm done. Okay, let's wait for everybody. When everybody was done disassembling all the pieces of the computer, he said, okay, to graduate from this training, you have to reassemble the computer and it has to turn on and you only have 30 minutes. I was like, oh my God. <laughs> okay, guess what? None of the computers turn on. Bad training? No. And that was the point. Now you have another 30 minutes to go on your computer and find out how to resolve the problem that you have. My problem was a blue screen. It said, it said BIOS error 00000021, I don't know what. Man, I had a blue screen. So I was able to fix it. Everybody else, there was just one guy who didn't make it on the training. And that was an amazing experience. The best that I learned from him is how to eat your food in 10 minutes. How to eat your food in 10 minutes. You swallow your food. You don't eat it. So everything was okay. He taught everything to us. And so it was a good experience. A bad experience would have been that he didn't teach us anything i don't know something that we needed and he didn't mention it but everything was fine so now i want to hear you um have you ever been to a bad training have you had a bad training experience okay. i remember when i was promoted to an English account <laughs> at sites. I didn't, I was, uh, before that I was taking calls, but when they uh, promoted me, uh, it was a chat account. I have never took a, a, a chat. I've never taken, uh-huh. I have never taken a chat and in, in, in a, also in that account, it was uh, the it were uh, two chats at the time that you have to uh, be with two customers at the time, and I have never uh, take a, a single chat even. I never taken uh, a single chat. <laughs> oh my god! In the first day, they 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 just only say, says me, uh, you were taking calls, right? Yes, I, I, I'm saying uh, yes. I was. Uh, well, the tools are are very similar. You, the there are some scripts, and go ahead. And, but I but I have never take a chat. No, you you can do it. Just just do it. And they they, they didn't teach me nothing. They 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 didn't give me any training about chats. <clears throat> but. That was the the worst experience. What uh, did you do? Did I, you quit? Yes, uh, I only stayed there 
a week. Uh, uh, well, uh, I was in the same week. I I I was in the <clears throat> in the process to move to another uh, company where I am right now. So I just uh, finished one week and I said I quit. I have another job. Excellent. Mm -hmm. Okay, just one thing, Nelson. Remember, they told me. They said me. No, they told me. Okay. Yep. Thanks. Say is general, like mm -hmm. uh, we we always say, you know, they always say, they told me. Can you see my screen? Yes. Yeah, okay. Let's see. Oh, there's sound. That's awesome. Diana? I never went on a phone. Sí, una cachimbeada. Me la gano, me la gano. That's mine. Okay. Well, this question is for you. This is very simple. Does management or HR usually conduct surveys at your workplace to identify your training needs? I, I answered that yesterday. Yeah, you answered that question <laughs> yesterday. Okay, easier. Can you name three skills of yours improved as a result of training programs you have taken? Tell us about your experience there. Oh, um... What skills have you improved by taking any trainings at work? Mm. Oh, wait, let me think. <laughs> I don't know. Um, can be technical or yeah, your okay. technical skills or as a person. Okay. Uh, I think this course is one of the things that the company is provide to me. Uh, so providing. Um, because they've given me the opportunity of learning English and also uh, today, actually, I went to a training about communication and I also went to another about leadership. Mm. So there are topics that helped me with the work I have to do. And because that's the kind of things I evaluated from, for different positions at my work. Awesome. So you learn how to do your job better. Yes. Awesome. Yeah. There's, there's a skill that they should teach especially in management areas or supervision, you know, and that's, uh, what was it? Human <sighs> people skills, people skills, mm -hmm. how to address people. I mean, you cannot just yell at your employees. The place where I work, I have had so far in two years, I had like five supervisors or six, I don't know. They rotated very often. But the worst I had was a new guy. It was a young guy, like 22 years old. He was new. It was his first time being the boss. And since I almost doubled his age, he was just doing whatever the boss told him to do. So, and it feels annoying, you know, when somebody doesn't have a glue, a clue. When somebody doesn't have a clue on what he's doing, it feels weird. Mostly if you have experience in call centers and, and a new guy comes like, hey, you should be doing this. And you're like, okay. Right. I don't know. It feels weird. So good job. Thank you, Diana. Let's see who gives me the second answer because I want to hear you talking, not me. I don't like my voice. Susanna. Susana. Susana. I am not I'm crazy for your love. Okay, Susie. Do they conduct surveys in your company? And that's management. Uh, you just conduct surveys. Listen, do they conduct surveys 
any sort of service to, to, to get to know you as, a, as an employee or to ask you, hi, hey, how do you feel in your job? Um, to do, uh, in my job or in my work, mm -hmm. uh, the, the usually the conduct, the you, oh, the usually conduct, um, is a uh, many, it's a regular, <laughs> but it's a, it's a, no, it's a leader personal, the useman, oh, oh, human, uh, human record, record, human resource, human resource. It's a small, um, it's a small department. Yes, it's a, it's a only in department, it's in only five persons. Five uh, people, just five people. Five people, yes. Uh, it's a, I, I, come ha, they, they have, they have a su support in, in other country. Uh, but it's a uh, uh, it's a they 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 come they, they see it? no sería ellos ven how do they you see, see? they see they see they see um but it's a training, a, a, a special training, a, but it's a the person a, for different area, specific area. A, it's, a, it's a important thing for a technical, technical a personal, a, but it's a, it's a training, regular, regular training, but it's a for no, but but um eh, it's a <laughs> um, but eh, eh, have have eh, is a have a regular a eh, organis regular eh, for is a repair is a craft aircraft. Uh, aircraft. How to repair the aircraft? Uh huh. Oh. Okay. Uh, for is a important to uh, have the personal, uh, the personal have a uh, training uh, specific. Hmm. Mm -hmm. um, technical skills. Okay, I, that's something you could say. Trainings are organized regularly to have the personal sharpen on technical skills, something like that. Okay, so I'm glad to hear that, guys. Thank you very much. Let's move on. Um, so if you didn't do this homework, which I bet Nobody didn't. We're going to do it right now. I'm going to give you 15 minutes only. But first, what we're going to do is just come up with your own thoughts. So I will split you right now. Let me take a little screenshot of this. And this will be group one, two, three, four. Now that we are 14, I'm going to split you in four groups. Yeah, I wake up. Um, I'm going to split, split you in four groups. <laughs> And you will prepare a brief explanation, okay, about each term. So go online and find out more about these terms. Oh, sorry. Just a minute, please. I send it to someone else. Oh, my God. And where are you? There you are. Okay, so I'm sending you the four areas that we're going to 
research right now. You come up with your own thoughts. And I'm just going to split you right now again. Recreate. I'm going to do four. So group number one. We have Claudia, Mario, Jose, Nelson, and Silvia. I'll send you a screenshot as well of this. Hold on. What am I doing? So here you are. Group number one will be the first bullet point. So I repeat, repito para que quede claro. Grupo número uno se encargaría de business needs and goals. Grupo número dos, gap skills analysis. Grupo número tres, survey. Y grupo número cuatro, performance appraisal. And in your own words. Con esto voy a ser muy enfático, muy... Um, ¿Qué podría ser? Muy enfático. Necesito que digan en sus propias palabras lo que ustedes han entendido de cada uno de estos cuatro términos. Eso es lo único que necesito. Si quieren designar a alguien del grupo que hable por ustedes, cool, that's okay. Lo, lo primordial sería que todos hablaran, no, pero igual. Go ahead. Use the internet, find out more about the term, and explain it in your own words in two, three minutes, two minutes. Okay? So you have 15 minutes starting right now. Let's kick it. Ice, ice, baby. Vanilla ice, ice, baby. Let's kick it. Okay, so we need to find out what is business needs and goals. I think uh, that it's about uh, the company knowing uh, knowing what are they needs, what are uh, their lacks, or what they need to to improve all the the performance of of their employees, and also setting their goals to reach those uh, those. Uh, Objectives. You mean that to set up the goals after seeing their needs? Mm -hmm. But uh, I guess maybe in general. I focus on on the company where I work. Probably I will find out some new company. Uh, but maybe some of the the needs of the general in general the company has. Maybe uh, <laughs> keep the all the teams motivated and or motivated to to work together. I don't know. ¿Cómo sería como darse ese, o sea, que los equipos trabajen como de la mano? O sea, 
to say. But I, I mean, I guess in the company has to focus in, in try to get well their some co co-workers because you are maybe in customer service you have to first your first customer is the the internal customer is the the partner from from another department i mean you are starting you partner from finance operation uh, you have to to, to work assure, yeah, to work together, but you have company have to assure that all of them see the people from other department as a customer in order to treat them well and assure that all of them has the the proper. I don't know, maybe attention, not the attention, but the wellness, not the wellness. Decade or? Uh, For example. Teacher. Sorry, uh, we have a question. We need to describe all the terms or only the second? Just the second term. In your case, it's gaps, oh, okay. skills, okay. analysis. That skills analysis, okay. Mm -hmm. And we need to do a a short example, uh, description. I mean, what do you just tell the class what you understood? What tell the tell the whole class what you understood about gap skills analysis? Okay. What is it? Okay. Okay. Okay, Mario. So. We're right. <laughs> um, Sorry, what? No, I. That the teacher said that is not necessary to talk uh, for a minute. We only have to give the definition that we create about about that topic. Oh, okay. The the gap skills is yes. Is something you can measure what in, in in a company. For example, the time, how 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 many how, how much time uh, the the customer wait for to be ordered. It was full. It was delicious. I don't know. Yeah. Um, on, on no, but I think it is a specific on the employees. I mean, like the skills they need to improve to make a better job. Faster uh, fluency, for example. In, in, okay, even customer, I don't know. Customer care in English. To have, to have, yes, 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 yes. Uh, speak fluency. Otherwise, uh, the customers complain about the language. No. Yes, that can be an example that if you are in a job that you need to speak in English. <laughs> you need not like us, of course. Speakers. <laughs> <laughs> so you, if you have an agent that didn't speak well, don't speak well, you need to improve their English. So yeah. you're going to put it in, in some classes like this, <laughs> like our cases. <laughs> <laughs> 
Iya, Jesus. Ya, yeah, that's it. Yes. But I think it's from the same, I mean, the, the same words say it. And no. No, between is a la par. Between. No, between is entre. <laughs> Sobre in. Oh, oh, in. In. In person, in. Um, this for in service oh, other other our work service product or mm -hmm. or or customers to to make a review about a performance in in the employees and for example in my in my company, <laughs> uh, the evaluations are made for the for the uh, job department for the uh, boss bosses department, right? And I when they. Uh, Evaluate me. Uh, they don't. Uh, my boss don't notify me, but I just <laughs> I just uh, see the the result when I when the middle of the year. Uh, if you if if I I receive or in other words if I gain some bonuses is is because my my evaluation uh, is in 20 or 80 percent of uh, or if i i find out or if i uh, what do you say teacher alcanzar how do you say alcanzar reach reach thank you reach. if i reach my reach. my my goals yes uh, and but if i don't receive any bonus or mm -hmm. uh, any what do you say teacher aumento how do you say aumento how how do you say aumento how do you say aumento increase increase if if i don't see increase in my in my uh, bank account for example <laughs> uh, or in my ticket for the uh, end of the month uh, i understand uh, my evaluation uh, was uh, or or is in mid term Right, I don't, I don't gain uh, nothing. <laughs> oh, I, earn, I gain earn, nothing. Earn, yeah. earn, I earn, earn nothing. All, all right, thank you. Uh, yes, yes, this is uh, for my company. All right, Wendita. Yes. Welcome, <laughs> welcome, or welcome to the jungle. <laughs> Uh, sorry. Uh, pay, pay slip, I'm sorry. Pay slip is um the boleta de pago, right? Boleta de pago. Pay in slip. Pay slip. Okay, my pay slip. Uh, are you are you already read about the? Have you read? Have you oh, have you read?
I guess you're ready, right? No? <laughs> really? I don't see. This is group number one. You're talking about analysis, right? The, uh, I, don't know. I was reading uh, it. The business needs and goals. The business needs and goals. Come on. You know, there there is an, a department WFM workforce management, workforce management. That's the name of the human resources um, section. It takes care of, of looking into the business needs regarding um, employees, workforce, workforce management. And, and it's, 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 they exactly see that, you know, they, they see what they need. Uh, regarding, I mean, in terms of 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 human resource, but when it when it comes to money, I mean, it's different goals, right? Business needs. You could say, you know, it depends on on the, on the company. If it is a manufacturing company, the needs of employees or skills varies it varies it fluctuates because for example a manufacturing company one day you have um an operator the next day he quits and you need a new employee but in terms of administration you will have the same accountant secretaries um accounts payable person in charge and etc there is no much difference on the administration I mean that's it so but but on a <clears throat> on a big company um, the needs the business needs vary a lot because you need other than materials to work right raw material you need other type of resources uh, the even the the toilet paper, even any sort of papers you need for administration, you see? Now, goals, goals, those are set every year. Every year, you have to set the goals of the company for the next year, right? That's it. That's an idea.
<laughs> okay. <sighs> Come on, Mario, you're like. No, I, I, I just have uh, maybe in general four, I don't know if these the goals or uh, maybe these are the goals maybe because I, I saw in, in the customer satisfaction in the financial uh, gain Financial, yes, financial, 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 financial gain, and and also the employee development. Uh, I guess that should be goals of the company, but in view for reach them. For example, the employee development, do you need a human resources department pretty reliable, which in my company, we haven't. Mm. Uh, uh, okay. Yeah, definitely it's, we haven't because actually is. It's, we don't have it because the company has 20 years working in until eight months they hire after the first human resources just recently eight yeah. months ago just recently eight months ago okay recently just recently eight months ago mm -hmm. they hired the First person in charge of the human resources area. Hmm. Uh, in this month. Interesting. So that that's the whole thing, you know. You just give an idea of what is business needs and goals, and that, that's all. Let's go back. Let's go back. Time's up. Ok, antes de continuar, eh, bueno, esperemos que regresen todos. Sí, es wait 30 seconds and that's it. Three, two, one. Here they come. We were fourteen and now we are twelve. Cloud is here, Norm is here. Who left? I'm wondering who left. Okay, so oh Diego, Diego, Don Diego is here. Uh, I don't know who left. Diana, Diana left. Okay. Um, so, I'm here. Well, she's here. Okay. <laughs> Who's missing? We were fourteen. Well, thirteen. Uh, so, antes de que continuemos, eh, hoy es nuestra sesión número nueve. Entonces, para el lunes tiene que ser la plataforma, no ahora. Es decir, tendrán el fin de semana para avanzar en la unidad 2, terminar todos los ejercicios de la unidad 2. Recuerden que uh, hay un midterm exam, ¿verdad? Hay, hay un examen de medio término, no sé cómo decirle eso. Y um, pues hay que completarlo. Medio? Es examen intermedio. No, es un examen intermedio. Uh, tienen hasta el lunes. 
para hacer todo eso, ¿no? Si es posible, avancen lo más que puedan. Si tienen alguna duda, me, me escriben y yo voy con gusto contestarle a ustedes. Okay. Okay, so let's see. <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm, I'm just focused on English. So let's go with business needs and goals. Again, this is just in your own words. In your own words. All yours. One, two, three, go. We'll go further. That's all. Okay. Hi. <laughs> okay. Uh, I I think that the or actually I saw in the in some goals general for all the companies. And I think that there are three or four four principal goals that uh, should be the customer satisfaction, emotion, financial gain, financial growth, and the employee development. Uh, but I think that uh, the most important is maybe the employee development because if you spend employer you spend time you put for to develop your team or keep them really well uh, uh, trained they will be in charge to make the the good customer satisfaction or the, the get the the to get the customer really satisfied uh this will make that the the financial issues or the situation the financial financial things will be maybe you will be king money and this will have or this will make that the company grow oh yeah grow that's why I think that you have to put the fourth and make to your employees feel comfortable working for you because if they feel well they will work well and they will make that all the job or the all the job and all the things that the you have to do with the external person that go to the company and make the, the, the relations with the company they will uh Sorry, they will try to do the best in order to. I don't know how 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 to say or how to complete, but I, I mean that if you feel well, uh, you will be all or you will you will put or. All your report to to make the your job uh, better every day and try to keep satisfactory or do the satisfactory 
In order to be satisfied? Yeah. Uh, oh, yeah, in order to the customer be satisfied. Okay. That's good enough for me. Thank you very much. Mario, okay, let's go with the second um focus, the second term, gap skills analysis. What is that? Okay, gap teacher, skills. that is the topic we have. Um in the same words, <laughs> it is an analysis that you make. Um it's like a process to identify the necessities that the employees or yourself has uh, have, have to improve. Uh, have yeah yeah have uh -huh. have to improve to make a better job. And that's it. That's all very straightforward, straight to the point. You got it. What? gaps you have what do you need to improve very good how do we get to know that okay next turn for service survey um survey is a, a method of investigation or a tool uh, to have a parameter of how how our work is being carried out it is an evaluation of uh, performance according to the opinion of our company. It is important, uh, for example, in customer service, knowing how the customer service was or the quality of the product, for example. If the product was um, uh, what was expected a method if it was possible to meet the expectation of the customer client and um, now or have an idea if the client can come to our establishment again and um, survey uh, uh, consist, consisted of um, interviews with the user in which a set of a question or ask it and responses are recorded. Uh, surveys differ from uh, questionnaires in their interactive nature, although they are not structured in the way that content inquire, uh, nor formally establishing an uh, organized uh, focus uh, group. Can be, for example, in group according to uh, age, or status, for example, mm -hmm. uh, example the focus, uh, focus groups. group, focus groups. Mm -hmm. uh, that's so teacher. Perfect. Yeah, there's a lot of different types of service nowadays. Service, service. Uh, now, service. You can uh, build service through Google, Google Forms, or Survey Monkey. There's a lot of services now. And the last one, performance appraisal. 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 All right. Uh, well, uh, we was discussing this. We were. We were. <laughs> thank you. We were discussing with, with my partners uh, about this uh, specific uh, this is a specific method. Uh, generally, uh, all companies uh, have have different uh, uh, appraisal performance appraisal uh, because uh, this is a um, an evaluation about uh, if uh, I don't know. Uh, about if an employee uh, reach, uh, reach some goals, reach some to reaches some goals, and if uh, he uh, this uh, person uh, have gained uh, some some bonus, mm -hmm. some bonuses. And also, 
eh, this evaluation help help companies eh, to consider if eh, there are different eh, personal or of or if need to to hire more 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 People. personal and this is it generally is uh, uh, an evaluation maybe uh, annual midterm of the uh, uh, of the year or monthly that's uh, in guadalupe have a uh, has more has has more information Okay. A, a and little have, more information. A more information, right? About um, how in my office, uh, in my work, uh, in the evaluation, uh, the team equates uh, with work environment. Do employee feeling, and with your boss, in my in my work, you receive an iris, is a platform, um, a link, you in ingress, and evaluate your boss, and evaluate, um, no, you propose five uh, uh, homeworks, and your boss choice three home, uh, chooses three person, three, three person. Ch chooses three people, huh? Chooses three people. And these people evaluate you. And you maybe evaluate three, four, five. And the boss uh, take um, feedback about the evaluation and the end. It, this process is in a month, in month completed. All offices, all, all branches. All branches do branches this, do this, this process in, monthly. In, 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 monthly. Yeah, monthly. 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 Once a month, monthly. And in, in this feedback, you, your boss maybe can say it if you need more training or you are credit uh, as you with a mentor on others employees or juries um no sé cómo se dice embajador um, pero lo vuelven como un embajador de algo no sé, no sé that's, cómo se that's the way they, they praise you that's the way they show your their appreciation they you you are named the number one let's say and you you make sure that others do what you're doing Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. That yeah, that okay, sounds so that sounds good. That sounds very good. It all. Okay. That sounds really in good. My, okay, guys. Uh -huh. In my case, my, my group, <laughs> my group, in my case is di is different. In my case, uh, my boss evaluate my work all time. All the time. All day. All day. And Every day. And I, I pay bonus, finish, or oh, oh, month. At the end of the month. Yes. Yeah. At the end yes. of the month. And depend, I sell tickets. I depending, sell. depending on how depending many tickets. How many tickets. I have sold. how many tickets and how and how how many forms for for visa for forms. And how many forms visa. I have completed? Yes. Mm. Oh no, no completed. Uh, the import uh, more important uh, the client or the customers pay. <laughs> Okay. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Okay. Yeah, I think we are. We all work based on goals, 
uh, we were short of time. I got too excited. I'm sorry, today's Friday. Um, but next class, we're going to start talking about training options, uh, the different type of trainings that you have, that we have available when it comes to training the workforce. Uh, really quick, I'll just show you this really quick. Um, as you can see, there are two, two di these different ways of doing things now after the pandemic, right? Do you have other options? Do you have the old school options, right? Instructor led, shadowing, simulation, which is you doing the job, e learning, which is links, as Marilena was mentioning, to learn in the event of questionnaires, for example, or, or service. Role playing is something that call centers use a lot, but many jobs are, are mimicking or implementing these training methodologies. Hands on is like the most common thing in all companies. Uh, job rotation, it varies depending on the on the job that you do. They want you to multi, be multitasking. A multitasking person is someone who can do more than one position, and that's important for the company. Coaching, mentoring is like being next to someone. is like shadowing the same thing. Group discussions, they are not used because they waste too much time, and time is money, remember. Social learning, go and do us research. These are off the job, off the job trainings, case studies, video learning, blended learning, we will see that, and lectures. So all of these are off the job. We're almost done. So off the job is the company doesn't spend too much money on you. You just look for the material and you have to read a lot, watch videos to learn Diana wake up okay and so on <laughs> okay guys well it was my pleasure to be with you tonight I'm staying tonight with Mario Ernesto Villeda but I think he got disconnected he's the one that left so Mario Jose Valle Castaneda would you please stay yeah sure thank you very much Okay, guys, I'm going to do the attendance. Enjoy your weekend. Please, if you drink, don't drive. And fix your car. Repair your car because new tickets are really expensive. So think about it, okay? Or use the bus. Good night. Good fight. Carlos Alfredo Palomo Pineda. Carlos went to sleep. Carlos left. I see. Okay, Claudia Maria Melendez Santos, Christian. Oh, there she is. Claudia, I'm sorry. Thank you. <laughs> Bye, teacher. Good night. Christian Natalie Erazo Rogel. Christian left, but she was here. Diana Elizabeth Cherguino Martinez. I love that last night. Here, teacher. Good night. Uh, come on. Good night. Now you can sleep. Diego Armando Lopez Rivas. Good night. Good night. Jorge Humberto Velafunes, Juan Carlos Rivas Jovel. No. Okay. Manuel Antonio Palma. Present. Good night. Thank you. Good night. María Elena Guadalupe Peñate Escobar. Good night. Good night. Present. <laughs> Mario Ernesto Villeda. He left. Mario José Valle Castaneda. I'm here. Thank you. Nelson René Olmedo Figueroa. Present. Good night. Thank you. Good night. Norma Carolina Villeda Avalos. Present teacher. Good night. Good night. Silvia Suleima Rodríguez de González. Present teacher. Good night. Good night. Susana Beatriz Ortiz de Cornejo. Present teacher. Good night. Good night. Wendy Maribel Zabaleta Ochoa. Present. Good, good night. Good night. Bye-bye. Yes, Te lengua la traba. 
Okay, Mary Jose, how are you tonight? Yeah, pretty good. Okay, usually when I have the first session uh, with anybody, I always do two questions. Uh, first question, what has been your experience with English? I mean, have you been have you been jumping around? What have you how have you learned this 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 level? You know, how have you reached this level? Number one. Number two, um, among this learning process, what have you identified to be your area of improvement? Something that you say, oh my God, my difficult thing is to speak. Um, my difficulty with English is to write it, read it, whatever. It's three questions, actually. And the last one, even more important than the two others, the most more important even, um, the most important question, what are you doing other than the two classes, the two hours class, what else are you doing to learn English? Go ahead. Uh, okay, the first one. How I learn the English. Oh, well, I guess it was a process I, since I was in that school because, uh, but in the school, I guess, uh, you know, we only learn the basic how to say hello and good day, good morning. And that's it. I remember when I was in the actually I I had three teachers that actually um, make make me uh want to learn the English. Mm -hmm. When I was in fifth in fifth grade, I had a teacher that was, uh, Gringo. Mm -hmm. It was an American. American guy. It was an American guy. Uh, I guess he's the he was the first because he only spoke English, not in Spanish, only English. So all of us were uh kids and we didn't uh, understand the importance of the language in that time. In the next year, I had a teacher, a woman, that uh, indeed she uh, was the teacher of my two daughters mm. in the same uh, school. Mm -hmm. It's really well, uh, so really good. And the third, was when I was in the uh, high school, in the second year, I don't know how to yeah, say Yeah, yeah, high school. Okay, when the high school, the high school. Uh, he knew that I understood what he was saying, but we always that I went to him to ask for help, he never uh, do nothing. I mean, because when I when I try to get uh, his help, I was speaking Spanish, and mm. he always told me, "This is the English class. If you want me to help you." Speaking in English, <laughs> uh, he, he, I, it always, I, come back to the, to my seat, and doesn't come back to him. Didn't. So uh -huh. I, but and after that, I mean, because he's a, a, a friend of my aunt, so he knew me, and that maybe that's the reason or. It was his methodology. It's a good one uh, because I, I had another classes after uh, the school in the the essay. 
was only two months that I went and he was uh, as a teacher in, in that school. But I never have been in the, uh, the motor place learning. Uh, I commenced to read a book uh, with, I remember when the, I was young in the newspaper uh, every Saturday, I guess, uh, they put uh, a song, a lyric of the song. And I always, I remember that song of them, I put them in order to read and hear the, the song. I like the music, every kind of music. Yes. Rap, rock, hip hop, salsa, merengue, everything. I don't have. You don't discriminate. Uh, yeah. Okay, but... and what what are you doing nowadays to to improve the English other than the two hours that we do? Other than the two hours. Uh, nowadays. And these days, I nothing actually. Uh, uh, sometimes uh, I have a book that I found. I found that the name is uh, famous grammar. I guess <laughs> my <laughs> no, 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 don't use that book, please. I, I, okay, yeah. <laughs> The, the, uh, I think that my uh, my problem is when you speak I understand if not the 100% maybe the 90% of mm. you mm. but of another person uh, with a for example uh, you for the native speakers, uh, if they are from British, mm. uh, kind of hard to understand them. Also, the American for me mm. is uh, hard to understand. But when they are not native speakers, like a uh, Indian, or like a native Philippine. native speakers, then you have no problem. Uh, you identify the accent. You know yeah. what? You already speak English, Mario. Uh, you have no fault, no problems. It's just a little, very little. Y lo que estás haciendo, eh, mira, está, tú, te estás siguiendo tu cerebro. Yo noto que cuando hablas miras hacia otro lado. Estás pensando mucho en lo que vas a decir, entonces tienes miedo de equivocarte. Más sin embargo, todo lo que hablas está bien. El único detalle es tu pace, tu uh, ritmo al hablar. Entonces, no sé si en español es, es igual, pero tenés eso muy cal, cau, cauto al hablar, digámoslo. ¿Sí? Eh, ah. Pensar dos veces lo que querés decir para en decirlo efecto, de la mejor manera. No, en, en efecto, sí. Con un español, pues expresarme. Si sí tengo cierto problema al expresarme, sí. Uh -huh. eh, he luchado con eso todo el tiempo. Uh -huh. este, y quizás eso, viendo muy dentro de mí, uh -huh. quizás sea algo... Uh, Está en ti. Eso sí, tú, tú lo tenés que corregir. No sé si viste el video de Es posible o lo imposible. Sí. ¿Sí? Últimamente, aparte de ese estado, me gusta mucho ver videos uh, relacionados a eso, a como al, al la motivación. Auto, a la automotivación, exacto. Uh -huh, uh -huh. He encontrado muchos de Dancer Washington. <risa> sí. Entonces, yeah. Yo sé que está sí, 
he tenido ese problema siempre. El miedo a expresarme uh -huh. frente a la gente. No tengo problema con tener una conversación uh -huh. de cualquier tema, de lo que sea. Y si pensamos en niveles de personas, en, en estatus, por decirlo así, no tengo problema con eso. He platicado con gente que se puede decir de muy alto nivel en las compañías. No tengo problema con eso. Uh -huh. Pero a veces, por ejemplo, estar frente al público, estar frente a alguien, uh, eso a mí es como un tema un tanto psicológico. Sí, es un poco hace... de timidez. Exacto, y uh -huh. siempre, siempre hace así. Entonces, a un español eh, me cuesta hacerlo. Y es también por eso, porque a veces trato de buscar palabras cuando son temas muy delicados que no sean contraproducentes, es decir, uh -huh. que no sean como que muy duros, eh, aunque a veces trato, o a veces me dicen que soy muy directo, eh, pero quizás cuando ya hay como que un poco más de confianza, uh -huh. pero en otras ocasiones soy un poco más, trato de ser cauteloso uh -huh. a, con lo que sí, Digo, eso es bueno, sí. pero, pero como te digo, eso, eso denota mucha inteligencia de tu parte, inteligencia emocional. Tony Robbins, Tony Robbins, eh, no sé si alguna vez has visto alguna de sus conferencias, te sugiero que la busques si es posible subtitulada, o sea, oh, chica, eso ah, cambia la vida. Él habla mucho de la ley de atracción y también de el autoconvencimiento, ya vémosle. O sea, encantations, le dicen encantaciones. Algo que te repetís todos los días. Y ese es el problema. ¿Y qué es lo que me estoy repitiendo a diario? Yo me, me quité hace años esta costumbre de despertarme y decir, ay, otro día, ya voy para arriba. Quejarme en la mañana. Y lo peor que hacía era como... Decirme cosas feas a mí mismo. Ay, tonto, que no sé qué, ya es hora y te pasaste un minuto y que no sé qué. Entonces, cuidado con lo que te repetís, cuidado con eso. Entonces, mejor cambiar el cassette. Y eso lo aprendí en el 2016 en una academia. Hablate a ti mismo, me decían. Yo siempre me hablé de, a mí mismo desde pequeño, más no medía las palabras que me decían. Lo que tú acabas de decir. Nunca fui duro conmigo mismo de una manera positiva. Jamás me enseñaron a autopremiarme. Eh, la gratificación instantánea, él habla de eso también. Cuando tú juegas un videojuego en el celular, inmediatamente se activa tu serotonina. Y si pasas un nivel del jueguito que estás jugando, valga la redundancia, wow, o sea... Qué, qué bien, ¿verdad? pero no lo logro pasar, no, no logro pasar una frustración. Entonces, aplicar eso incluso, ¿no? Felicitarte, de una, darte una palmadita tú solo, ¿no? Eh, muy bien, ya ganamos más comisión, ve ahí, súper bien. Qué, qué bárbaro eso. Perfecto, y en cuanto a parte del idioma, por ejemplo, yo en la compañía tengo 11 años de trabajar ahí, cuando llegué, pues, Tenía un conocimiento, yo sé que mucho menor al que tengo ahora. Eh, y al principio era como que caía una llamada al teléfono, al de la oficina. Y quien contestaba, realmente no podía inglés. Entonces era como que al que estaba más cerca le pasaba el teléfono. Al principio me hacía así como que... <risa> ajá, y entonces y ajá, ok. Y era como que, pero ahora es como que... Ah, okay. ya sin, sin, sin tanto problema agarro mi teléfono y hablo con quien tenga que hablar uh -huh. ya, sí me siento más confiado al hablar con las personas cuando son eh, cosas técnicas de tu trabajo exacto, uh -huh. porque son cosas que, que manejo que se me es fácil expresarlas uh -huh. eh, porque es lo que me preguntan día a día y porque de repente 
se lo repito a uno, a otro, a otro, exactamente Ajá. igual. Entonces No, pues me es fácil. eh, estás en tu área de confort, o sea, no hay ningún problema. Eso sí, pero sin embargo, en la clase de doceto que tú te, te desenvolves súper bien. Ahora, lo único, dos cositas, vaya, para, para terminar, perdón. Este, uno, eh, sí, la autoconfianza. Sí, hablar un poquito más rápido, nada más. Y dos, eh, el uso de I used to. Ahí también los ejemplos. Always when I went to him. En lugar de eso podría haber dicho whenever I used to look for him. Cuando lo buscaba, cuando fuese que lo buscara. Okay. When I was little, they put the song. Cuando estaba pequeño, ponían la tal canción. They used to play a song on the radio. Entonces el uso de they, de ese used to, used to, lo que realizamos en una clase. Okay. Hay que aplicarlo un poco más. And that's it. Other than that. You're doing great, okay? Nice to have you. Hope you have a good night, Mario. Okay, same to you. Good night. Good night.